it out. So I have with me today the Anchor 757 portable power station and solar panels to go with it to recharge. So coming straight out of the box here, I was going to just put it up on the table and kind of skip all this part, but I don't know. Obviously we got some like first use that kind of stuff uh, with batteries and all that. You definitely want to make sure that you charge it before you uh, use it because that'll set the battery memory um, and prevent you from starting out with a lower uh, battery availability throughout the life. Damn, look at that. That is freaking gorgeous. Let me pull this up on the table and if there's anything else in the box, then we'll do that, but I doubt it, so give me a second. All right, so in this box, once again, disregard all of my projects that I have going on right now, but we have our um, Anchor 757. It's a 1200 watt hour portable uh, power station, it, you know, it's it freaking wild. It's like 1229 watt hours, I think is like the specific, specific. But yeah, so you get that guy. Um, you also get your AC charging cable, um, and I'll show you where that plugs in, all that sort of stuff. This is what's gonna go into the wall of your house, or if you're like me and you have a 120 volt outlet in the uh, bed of your truck or anywhere inside of your, your, your uh, overlanding rig, you can use that to charge it. Uh, you have, of course, your car plug, which goes right into your cigarette lighter in the car. And then this is the cable that's going to be connecting between the 757 and your solar panel. So you can set up to three. You can see these are the, uh, I think they're XT60s is the name of this connector type. Uh, we use them with RC cars all the time. It's the same plug that I have for my batteries actually, um, except for the Traxxas ones. But yeah, so you got XT60s uh, and these hold really, really well uh, when plugged in together. And so you have up to, eh, you can see in there, there's a third one three panels each plug will go to an individual panel so you can connect up to three of the solar panels uh, in order to charge this at once so we'll get into these here in a second we'll do a quick overview of the uh 757. oh and then you also get a dust bag there's a little dust bag so in case anyone wants to be able to see this before uh, you buy and if you're if you're hunting for what power station you want to go with because there's quite a few out there and uh, Anchor and Jackery seem to be the two that kind of are facing off, right? So this one is the 1229 watt hour. Um, that's the capacity of the battery bank itself. Uh, AC input voltage can be anywhere from 100 to 120 volts, 12 amps max, uh, 50 to 60 hertz. So that's pretty much going to be, your house is going to be 120 volts, 60 hertz. And uh, that's going to be the charging rate, the maximum that it can receive. Uh, yep, at a, at a rate of 1,000 watts. And... Uh, yeah, if you have your solar panels hooked up, it's going to give you about a 300 watt max or uh, 10 amps, 11 to 30 volts. Car charger, which is a 12 volt um, socket, right? That's what this thing is right there. It's your 12 volt, will give you a 10 amp max. And that basically between your 10 and your 12 is just going to change how quickly the battery will recharge, right? Up to your 1229 watts. Um, so a 10 amp is going to take a little bit longer. But uh, for your outputs, right, for your AC outputs, and we'll show you that here in a second, but you have 110 volt, uh, about 13, 14-ish amps um, for your AC plugs. For your USB-A, um, it's a five volt, 2.4 amp output. And then for your USB-C, there's two different ones. There's your uh, 100 watt and your 60 watt. So your 100 watt, um, just has a little bit a little bit of a higher charging rate so five amps versus your 60 is going to give you three amps of your charging rate right so it'll be quicker um, but those are both USB-C and then uh, it's got a couple of temperatures and your size and weights and all that sort of stuff but you guys don't really care about that so see my trash and then also my cats have been uh, standing in the corner staring and screaming at me while I'm making this video why are you so upset right now hmm? why are you so upset yeah chase her off <laughs> Sweet, so looking at the front of this thing, right? Absolutely gorgeous, by the way. I love the like futuristic style and look. Oh, hello. Have you have you come to check out the anchor as well? Miss, excuse you. Okay, uh, disregard the cats. 
Bro, why? Why? I think we're good now. <laughs> Sorry about those two. Uh, yeah, so looking at the front here, we have a whole, whole lot going on. So you have your LCD screen right here. I'm not gonna turn it on just yet. I'll turn it on once I get it plugged in so we can take a look at everything that ha that has to offer, right? Um, you have a power saving mode going on right here. Uh, what it's going to do is it's gonna turn off all of your charging and whatnot once it, once it senses no current running out of the anchor. Um, which means that whatever you have plugged in is fully charged and is no longer charging. So that'll prevent draining the battery if you like plug your cameras or something in the charge overnight. And then you have your car socket right here. And so this is where you can plug any 12 volt cigarette lighter socket into. In order to turn that on, right, you're going to hit that button right there and that'll align power to these guys. You have six AC outlets and just like the car socket, you push that button right there in order to turn that on and align power to these guys, right? You have your standard, um, you know, hot, neutral, and ground for each of these. And then for the just the two prong plugs, you have your hot and your neutral. And then you have your two USB-Cs. You have your 100 watt on top, your 60 watt on the bottom, and then four uh, USB-A, just that standard one. And then this right here is actually a light bar, which is pretty sick because you have either light on, it's like a white light, we'll show you that. There's an amber, which is like a night light. And then you also have an SOS mode and you can adjust that by uh, using this little button right here. So swinging around to the back here, it's a little bit on the dark side. We can pull this down. Wow, that was actually really cool. So you got two charging options, right? You have your plug, which should be for your, like your AC wall socket, right? Your 120 volt outlet. And then of course you have the uh, XT60 connector that runs to your solar panels, which is also pretty sweet. So super self-explanatory. Plug it in here, plug it into the wall. And then uh, you're charging. Now this little button thingamajig in the center here says press to reset. I'm assuming that this is like a, a surge protector or a breaker or maybe when it's fully charged it'll uh, break the connection. I don't know. I'm going to look at that. But uh, I'm going to get it plugged in and start charging. So you can see here it is recharging. So we're at 29% battery. We have the little charging thing going on on the side. And this is showing how much power is going in. So, whoop. so we're maxing out right here uh, almost at 1000 watts. And it says recharge hours 0.9. So it's gonna take about an hour in order to get to 100% charge, which is really friggin' fast. That is one, one of the big reasons why I chose the Anchor over the Jackery is the rate at which it will recharge. Um, I don't know what they do between you know their batteries. I'm sure they're all you know lithium ion or, or whatever the heck they are. Um, but that is, that is absolutely crazy how quickly this one will recharge compared to the other ones. And that's important because when I'm out on the trail, say I'm recharging with the uh, solar panels, um, it's going to, I don't know, recharge faster is, is kind of my thinking, you know, because solar panels are already inefficient. And so if the batteries aren't receiving as much as the panels are willing to give, um, it's going to be a little bit slow. Keep the fireplace stocked because it's cold here. It's really cold. Just add more wood to it. I'll push that in. Anyways, yeah, so my plan is to eventually, I'm gonna be getting some solar panels mounted up here on the up top overland rack. So we can mount them. I don't know if I'm gonna do it in the front or in the back just yet. It really just depends on uh, what other gear I'm gonna throw up here, like the Rotopax, and uh, maybe I'll, I don't know, I don't know. But I also wanted to see, there's companies that make hood um, panels, solar panels for the hood. Unfortunately, because my hood comes with a scoop uh, the company that I'm looking at does not make one with a scoop cut out for the Tacoma they make it with a scoop cut out for other cars unfortunately they don't have one for the Tacoma itself but I'm gonna reach out to the company they might have plans for making something like that um, but yeah so the big thing about that is uh, while I'm going down the trail and I have the anchor just like chilling in the back of the truck um, or in the bed I have that 120 volt outlet in the bed that I can have running while I'm driving and while we're like overlanding through the woods whatever the heck is going on so I can have that recharging during the day um, and if it has that faster excuse me if it has that faster charging rate I don't have to worry so much about re reaching camp and not being at or near a full charge um, for the anchor now I don't intend to completely drain it in one night you know I don't have a heck of a lot that I'm gonna be running off of it um, but there are a couple of like critical Equipment things, especially like your phone, which you can charge during the day while you're driving, but you know, you might want to charge it at night. If it's cold, I'm going to be running a heater, um, which I'm looking at getting right now. Um, and additionally to that, you got to charge camera batteries and you got to, you know, if you bring the wife along or something like that and she wants to run a hairdryer in the morning, 
um, little hot, hot water heater. There's, there's a lot of things that you can power um, that you can power from the anchor. And because it gives you that high power output, it doesn't really constrict you to anything. I was watching videos online of people that were running microwaves off of this thing. And uh, microwaves take a lot of power in order to run. And so it's pretty crazy the amount of current output that this thing can give. Oh, and real quick, the last thing that's on the table, right? Anchor offers a five-year warranty. Um, so if anything happens to this over the course of the five years, if it fails for any reason, obviously neglect doesn't matter, right? Or doesn't like count. So like if I blow this thing up or I drop it a heck ton, um, they don't cover that. But if anything happens electrically and it just decides to stop working, then I can reach out to Anchor. I can return this one and they'll send me a new one, which is insane. Um, other places like Jackery, and some of the other power station companies don't offer a five-year warranty. A lot of them offer a warranty, you know, could be one year. I think I think Jackery's a three-year, um, but Anchor offers a five-year, which is pretty, pretty crazy. So, yeah, let's get into the panels. Yeah, so while this is charging, uh, let's go ahead and crack into the solar panels and see what we're looking at. Don't worry about the fuzzy ones. They're standing on the motorcycle right now. And once again, I'm opening these from the bottom. <laughs> Whatever. If any of you have OCD, I'm sorry. This is awesome. So this is how this comes uh, in the box all wrapped up. You have your little little booklet there to tell you how to do stuff, your operating manual. And then you have, uh, I think these are char your charging ports, right? Which you can charge directly from the solar panel. So you have your USB-C as well as a USB-A and then your XT60, of course, which I think is the output uh, to your, this one, this plug right here. So this XT60 will plug into this one and then the other side goes into the back of the anchor so that you can charge. You also have another little accessory pouch going on right here. And, uh, oh, sick, they give you a charging cable as well so that you can run, if you wanted to just do one uh, panel, you could just do one panel. And then I guess they have an XT60 adapter so that you can hook up to like a laptop or something like that. Um, this is great. I didn't, I didn't expect it to come with this. This is, this is super cool. Holy cow! That's awesome. That is so sick. So you can like hold it. And it has a uh, little little bit of instructions here. It has your your specs, right? So Anchor 625 solar panel. These are your 100 watt panels your model number, you have your USB-A, USB-C outlets. So in full sun, it'll give you about 2.4 amps for your USB-A, three amps for your USB-C, and uh, 100 watt max output, obviously, either 100 watt panel, um, and that'll go to charge your things. But look how gorgeous that is. Holy cow. I can't, no, don't stand on the solar panels. Get in your grubby little paws. Wow, that's so cool. We're gonna get these out once the sun's out. The sun's going down right now, but we're gonna get these out tomorrow morning and we're gonna see what this does um, for power output wise. But I'm gonna use this guy tonight just to kind of run it and see uh, how exactly it works. So we'll get down a little bit lower in the power percentage and then we'll hook up the solar panels and see how well it charges. So I'm not joking with you. It's literally been like 20 minutes. It has actually been like 20 minutes. Now, because this was the first power up and the first charge, it may not entirely understand, you know, its own amounts that the battery can take. And so like, I'm sure that this recharge rate is just based on, you know, um, how much current is being sent in, but it's still at a rate of a thousand watts, right? And we're already at a 98%. It's been like 20 minutes. It's crazy. Oh, and just to show you, that little symbol right there is the power saving. So as you can see with it down, it comes on, right? Zoom in there for you. Do a little battery of the leaf and then up, oh, it's off. So, yeah. So I wholeheartedly believe that this is able to charge something. Obviously it's a battery bank. So I'm not gonna bore you guys by plugging in a cell phone because it's gonna charge. Um, I'm also, unless you guys really care, uh, I'm not gonna bother like running testing to see if it can run a microwave and see if it will run a, you know, a hair dryer or whatever, cause like it's going to, I know it's going to. Um, but if you guys really do want to see that, let me know, uh, drop a comment and let me know that you want to see and what you want to see me plug in and charge uh, from it. And I will get, I will do so. I'll probably put it out in a little short 
or something like that. Um, now, not afraid to say, everybody's got medical conditions. I do run a, uh, a freaking CPAP, like the breathing thing or whatever the hell, military, it sucks. Um, so I gotta use it so I don't die in my sleep. Um, so that's one of the big motivators for me getting this guy uh, right now, rather than you know further down the line when I'm gonna need it more, is so that I can get out camping and I can still breathe while I'm sleeping. Um, so I'm gonna run a real world, real world test tonight. I'm gonna leave it unplugged. I'm gonna hook up the friggin' crap and uh, leave it on all night, plugged in. And then uh, if I, you know, I'm gonna wake up in the morning and see just how much power it took uh, for a standard like eight hour night's sleep. Um, and, hey, you're so cute. Anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna leave it for a standard like eight hour night or whatever the hell. And then uh, we'll see in the morning what the percentage rate is. Uh, and the other thing is, is that in the morning, then we can get this out and we can uh, recharge it with our solar panels and see how quickly that goes. Um, I don't really know what else to talk about for this thing tonight, other than the fact that it looks cool and uh, hopefully it's gonna charge great. We'll see why not. But uh, yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys in the morning and we're gonna get these panels hooked up and see how powerful they are. See you in a few. Hey, what is up guys? It is morning of the next day. The sun is coming out, it's gorgeous. And uh, we're gonna take a look at this thing. All right, so I got the anchor on the table here. Don't mind the spill I got going on over there. I'm gonna turn the display on, we're at 70%. Now, I didn't do a full eight hour night sleep with this thing. It was really only four hours, uh, about five-ish. Yeah, about five hours. One thing that I didn't talk about in the initial intro is uh, so you push this button here and you have a light. So this is the night light, kind of the amber glow. You can make it brighter up to three different types, right? Which is nice. And then I think if you hold for like two seconds, yeah, it does SOS. You can just click it once and it'll turn it off. So let's turn out the lights. I'm gonna turn on this light and we'll kind of see. That's a pretty decent amount of light that it puts off. You know, it's nothing crazy, but uh, yeah, it works. Now that the sun is in fact out fully, it's still cold out here, but uh, it's out. We got our panels and I'll carry the anchor out here in just a second, but we'll get the panels set up on the ground and uh, I'll put you guys in a bird's eye view. Cable's pretty long. It's uh, a viewing point, right? So you see the sun, you have the glass with the dot and the red circle. The panel should be aligned such that the shadow of that circle is uh, pointing towards the sun. So let me mess around with this a little bit and see if I can't do that. That works pretty good. So you can see the shadow of the dot is pretty much in the center of that circle. So the uh, solar rays should be doing the max that they can in the solar panel. Cool, so we got this plugged in. And I'm just gonna take this end. I'm gonna go around to the back of the anchor. And remember, we're sitting at 70% right now. And uh, we're just gonna plug it into this XT60 connector in the back. Just like that. And it's charging. Look at that, 188 watts, holy crap. Remember these are 100 watt solar panels. So it's a max of 200 watts in. And uh, we have 188. Those are, that's pretty good for first thing in the morning. Damn. Well, we'll see how long it takes for this thing to charge. And uh, I'll get back to you guys. Right now it is looking like 1020 in the morning. And so uh, I'll show you the time when we're fully charged. So as you can see guys, it is now about 1.35. It's probably been about 10 minutes uh, since it's been at 100%. But there you go. That took about three hours to get 25%. And uh, once again, with the solar panels, you can add a third one, which will cut your time down by a third, right? Another panel, third, uh, third, third more of the speed. But uh, yeah, so it works great. It looks really, really cool. And uh, it packs up super light. One thing I didn't mention, 
Um, another one of the selling points on the Anchor versus like the Jackery, which are the two main brands that I was looking at for the power station, is its shape. So as you can see, you know, it's very, you know, square, rectangular, it's flat on the top. The Jackery has this massive like handle, right? Which is great for like picking up, just walking over and going, whoop, there it is, right? But uh, when you're going to pack it into the car with other stuff that you're going camping with, it makes it very, very difficult to actually pack. Um, because you can't really stack anything on top of it, so you gotta have a special spot for it. The anchor, though, I can put whatever I want on top. It's flat. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions uh, about it, or have, like I said, anything that you want me to try running off of it, uh, let me know. You're gonna be seeing it a lot on the channel, because I'm gonna be using it while I'm out. you know, camping and all that sort of stuff. Now that I have one, I can start looking into things like water heaters and um, other like electric devices that need to be powered even with the car off. Um, yeah, so I think it's gonna be pretty pretty sick. Anyways, uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. Catch the next go around, midnight sign out.